Hi everyone, and welcome back to another spooky episode of our spooky Halloween popcorn mix. It is creepy, it is delicious, it is wonderful. Let's make it. Ooh. The first thing we are going to need is some cauldrons. And now I purchased these at a Dollarama here in Canada, but I'm sure any store, any dollar store would have something like this at this time of year. So inside of this is actually just some marshmallows. As I was saying, you can find these at dollar stores. You can even try Walmart or Amazon. They should have something like this, but they're really inexpensive and I'm sure you can find them anywhere at this time of year. So now we are going to empty them out. Mine came with little marshmallows here. And you could actually use these and give them out for Halloween. And now the first thing we are going to do is Add in some butter popcorn. I'm using Smart Food here, but any butter popcorn that you want to use is perfectly fine. You can even make your own homemade, and that would be great as well. Now I'm telling you, this is perfect for little parties, children's parties, children's Halloween parties, little gift ideas. If your uh, children want to give it to their friends, because when my children were small, we used to do similar things like this when they used to have little parties at home. So it's just a wonderful treat, a wonderful idea, and it's just so cute. So let's start building our little cauldrons. First, we're going to add in some buttered popcorn. I'm going to fill it up about halfway. Now we will add in our mini M&Ms. As much or as little as you like. Now we are going to crumble up some Oreos. You can use any Oreos, any flavor that you prefer. I'm just going to place some in a Ziploc bag and just use my rolling pin to kind of break them down a bit. Now I'm going to take out the air, seal my bag, and I added in eight Oreos. I feel that's enough for two cauldrons. And now we're just going to break them up with our rolling pin. Now we'll add some Oreo crumbles here. Now remember, we are making two layers in each cauldron, so you want to save some for the top layer, just like your M&Ms and your popcorn as well. If you can find some Halloween sprinkles, that will look really cute here too. But I had some chocolate sprinkles here and I find it fits the theme perfectly. So that's what I'm going to use. Now we are ready to melt our candy melts. I'm using orange candy melts to fit the Halloween theme, but if you prefer to use semi-sweet chocolate chips or white chocolate, whatever you prefer, you can definitely use, but this is just gonna make it look so spooky and cute, and um, that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to place this into a microwave-safe bowl, and I'm going to microwave my candy melts until they're completely melted, but after every 15 seconds, I'm going to go in and give them a stir, because they can easily seize up on you, so you want to keep a close eye on them. I've got three arms here today, so I have a spooky zombie helping me out hold my bowl. Now we place this into our microwave. My chocolate took about two minutes and 30 seconds, and at every 15 seconds I gave it a stir, but halfway through, I added in some coconut oil just to loosen up the chocolate a little bit, and I added in one teaspoon of that into here, and I kept stirring, kept doing the same process until the chocolate was melted. Now what I'm going to do is add it into a piping bag. I find it so much easier to just, um, drizzle the chocolate on top of our popcorn. So that's what I'm going to do now. Just put the piping bag in a cup. It's so much easier to fill up. And we'll put our chocolate in here. My third hand is helping out again. 
The zombie wants to be the center of the show. <laughs> Now we are going to drizzle our orange chocolate. Good amount here. Bring in the other one. Same thing on the other one. All right. Now we will add more popcorn. Now we add more toppings, more mini M&Ms. Now we add more crushed Oreos. Some more chocolate sprinkles. And now we add more orange chocolate. Lastly, just a couple more M&Ms, just for decoration. A few more chocolate sprinkles. And lastly, just a few more cookie crumbles. Just a little, because you don't want all the little garnishes to overpower and take away the orange chocolate look. Guys, it's perfection. It is so cute, and this is going to be delicious, trust me. I like placing these in the fridge so that the chocolate firms up, but if you wait at room temperature for about 15-20 minutes, it firms up and it's perfect. So now, let's try one. Ooh, delicious, the perfect treat. Make it, you're gonna love it. Happy Halloween!